OpenAI claim that ChatGPT 4.0 is their newest and their most advanced model, which is great if you understand how AI works and what is advanced in AI and what is not. So let me show you what current AI, and I'm using that term as sort of how the general population is thinking about generative AI, is currently struggling with. I'm going to ask ChatGPT 4.0 a question that a human will consider to be relatively simple. How many R's are in the word strawberry? So the word strawberry has two R's. Now, we all know that's not true. So I ask it, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure, says ChatGPT 4.0. So I ask it to double check as I count three R's, as I'm sure most of you do. ChatGPT then spells the word out to me and continues to stick with its incorrect answer. So I get more specific, telling ChatGPT 4.0 where the three letter R's are in the word strawberry. Now this bit I love. ChatGPT 4.0 tells me that I am wrong and I have double counted one of the R's. What I love is how confident it sounds and I'm sure that if this was a more complex problem I might actually doubt myself. But I can count so I continue arguing and I tell ChatGPT 4.0 that I think it is wrong. ChatGPT 4.0 then goes back and voila now it comes up with three R's. The correct answer. Hurrah! So I ask it the same question again, but silly human me, which misspells strawberry and ChatGPT really notices, voila, it goes back and it gets the answer wrong again. So I correct my spelling and I ask it again to see if it's learned from our previous conversation. And no, we are right back to our original answer of two. But ChatGPT, I say, have you learned anything from our time together? Uh, hoping that it has, and it goes, oh yes, of course, silly me, there are three R's. Great. Let's see how long your memory is, chat GPT 4.0. Oh, I'm going to ask you the same original question again, in the same chain of thread, and you are back to the original wrong answer. So now I attempt to ask ChatGPT to explain how it tokenizes the word strawberry to understand more about where the error comes from. Uh, it still confirms the wrong answer too, but it doesn't help me understand how it's breaking down the word. So I head over to the tokenizer function, which you can find in OpenAI to try and see what's going wrong. Now, this function isn't available for ChatGPT 4.0, so I'll run it instead for the uh, 3.5 and the 4 version instead. And we can see that the word strawberry is made up of three tokens. So tokens are blocks of letters and symbols, including spaces that large language models use to predict what comes next in an output. When humans spell, we see that a word as a whole and we see the individual letters as a whole. ChatGPT is not actually counting the number of R's like a human would. Instead, it's trying to use its prediction mechanism to come up with the answer. And that's okay, because ChatGPT is not a calculator. Large language models such as those used in generative AI don't see words or letters. They just see tokens and every large language model uses a different tokenization process, which means that each of them would likely come up with a very different answer to this very simple question. To prove this, let's try a different popular generative AI tool and see what happens. I'm going to ask the same question to Microsoft's Copilot, which has also been trained using OpenAI models. No, two, it is still wrong. Okay, so let's move to ChatGPT4. This is the version that you pay for and states that it is the most advanced model for complex tasks. I don't actually think that counting the number of R's in the word strawberry is complex, but anyway, let's type it in. Oh, great. So this one is correct. Now, that was an easy problem and any human could probably solve it and identify the mistakes easily. But once we start giving more complex tasks or tasks that have severe consequences on the world that we live in, we might not notice those errors until it's too late. So generative AI can be amazing at some things. Humans are still important in this crazy AI tech race. We still need to know as humans what the right digital tools are for the right job.